What up YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here and today I just wanted to quickly talk about the uh, how I feel with doing the upper body and lower body split now. As you all know I've been doing the uh, max height training program. I received a free 8 week program from Chris Elkins. Uh, I'm on week 7 now and that's because uh, doing the program I had went out of town one week. So I did my own workout that week because I was uh, working out with my boy Stephen Simmons who you've seen on the channel. And also uh, another week I was really sick so I missed like three days of working out. So week seven now I'm still going to finish to uh, complete eight weeks of the program and it is going well so far. I really appreciate how he uh, mixes in the strength, the strength training with the hypertrophy. So, as you all know, prior to this, I had been doing a push-pull leg split. And a lot of times people will ask, like, what's the best workout split? So, you have to do what works best for you and what fits with your schedule. So, this is my first time ever doing an upper and lower body split. And from my experience, well, uh, specifically for the program I'm doing, I have been enjoying it because it does allow me to get the volume needed for my uh, for my lower body days just dedicating a full day to lower body and then uh, switching up the upper what I hit on my upper body depending on the day like some like yesterday was uh, well legs was yesterday but the day before that it was shoulders and uh, what was it shoulders and tricep well shoulders and arms and then another day it might be back and chest for the upper body so it, it uh, switches up so I have enjoyed this split still been able to make great gains so it's not one particular program that's going to give you more gains than the other uh, it's you know whatever works best for you whatever really whatever you prefer to do for your workout split because people still do what's considered a bro split and that works just fine now I don't I think that a upper body and lower body split or a push pull leg will be better than a bro split just because you can uh, hit you should target your weak points and hit them more than once a week so that's why I like the upper and lower body split because my legs are a weak point and I'm able to still hit them more than once a week like I was doing with the push pull leg split now after this um, eight weeks is complete I'm not sure if I will continue to do an upper and lower body split or if I will go back to a push pull leg split but I will go through with you all one by well you know workout by workout to show you all what my whatever my new routine is I'll create a new workout from scratch and I'll really be targeting my calves sp specifically because I really want to uh, bring those up and what well, my legs in general because I want to bring up my quads as well so I'll have fun I may do like a uh, do like a, a playlist on YouTube to where you all see me creating my workout I think that'll be beneficial to some people so you all can see why I so why I'm selecting each exercise so that's it just a quick video on the upper body and lower body split that I'm doing now yes it is beneficial Yes, I'm still making gains. I'm still growing, getting stronger, all of the above. So whatever you decide to do for your workout split, do something that fits in your schedule and something where you can still cater to your weak points, especially if you're an uh, intermediate to advanced lifter. If you're a beginner just starting out, you know, just getting in the gym, then you don't have to worry about really focusing on your weak points, weak points yet. You just need to get in the habit of you know, learning a form, uh, learning the right sets and reps to do for whatever your goals are, diet, etc. So, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate the support. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.